Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am over on Ark Survival Ascended, and yes, all around me you can see silica pearls. I'm going to show you the best way to get silica pearls. You don't technically need an anglerfish, but there are some really awesome ways to get silica pearls on Ark Survival Ascended, the island. Now, this is the best spot if you don't have an angler uh, to get silica pearls. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, basically 16, 17 ish. Yeah, 17 nodes right off the bat, right? And these are all easy to access. You just need to know these cords. Pretty simple, right? This is the pearl cave. Here's your exact cords 10.4, 4.5. And you just need a scuba mask really to get down here. And uh, I have this one marked on my map as a waypoint. And basically, you just need to go right to these coordinates, go up in the cave. It's also a great base location, but if someone builds there, they're blocking probably the biggest silica pearl, uh, silica pearl spawn in the entire game. And uh, yeah, so just so you can see, you just have to go straight down from this exact position. You can see this is like one of the penguin islands, right? Right there. You just go straight down from that and you'll end up at that cave. That is the best single spot to get pearls probably in the game. Now, the next thing that you can do is also pretty easy, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this off so I can stop here in the scuba mask because it's frustrating. But what you can do is if you get to the snow zone, right? If you circle the edge of the snow zone, it doesn't matter. Basically, you're just going right up to where the land meets the water and you are going to see a ton of nose. You just need an Argentavis or a uh, Pteranodon or something that can fly, right? In order to do this. And realistically speaking, you are just looking. I'm going to set the time of day so it's not super dark at night. Um, you're just looking for round shapes. That's it. And uh, do, don't even bother going the icebergs. They don't spawn on the icebergs. But you will get a solid amount by doing this. I think that's technically one. No, it's a trilobite. It looked like one. Um, but you will get a solid amount by just going around the outside of the island. Um, now, I just spawned into this, uh, this map, so it doesn't have any uh, generating right now. But you will see one in just a second. They always spawn pretty quickly out here. Um, and this is, I guess, kind of the best way to get them if you're not going to that cave and you want to go outside. Um, but, you know, I say that and I'm not able to see any right now. There's one. Okay, cool. You can see it. They look like these little round rocks. And all you got to do is smack it once or twice and you will have access to silica pearls on hand. And these are the first cords, by the way, just on that corner. And if you circle the outside, I have picked up quite a few recently. Um, so that's probably why they're not spawning as much. But uh, yeah, there's some right there. There's some right there. They literally just look like circular rocks. Um, if you're on lower settings for graphics, it can be kind of harder to spot them. Uh, just be aware of that. If you are on lower settings, it will be more difficult. But uh, that is another great way just to go to this section and then just do a circle around the outside, right? And then there's another nine. And yes, it's a pain in the butt, but early game arc silica pearls are a very limiting factor. So you have to be careful about that. So you kind of got to keep an eye out for them all the time and just pick them up. But they're just the little brown things and you just go pick them up. So that is the second way that you want to go ahead and do this, right? You just swing around the outside of this island and you will get a solid amount of silica pearls. Now, the next thing is much easier if you have an angler fish, right? We want to not worry. We're not trying not go into the deep, uh, deep water because if you go into the deep water, you will find them eventually. But they are very hard to find because they no longer glow, and that's a real pain in the butt. So if you go to this specific corner in this water right here, right, you can go here with an anglerfish, and then look. You can see them. They're very difficult to spot, but yes, right at these specific coordinates. You see them on the screen right now. Um, you will see them all over the place. Now, if you have an angler, you're going to get way more bang for your buck, right? I'm going to go ahead and just spawn this guy in and then show you what I mean by that. So basically, one bite on this, and this is just no, no, nothing leveled or anything like that. You can just start biting all over the place right here and get a ridiculous amount of silica pearls because this is just the best place to get them for using just an anglerfish. Again, the only negative is it's hard to see literally anything because of all of the... Now, I have my graphics on high. If you turn your graphics down, that'll help a ton. But um, you can go ahead and just keep biting and you will eventually get quite a solid amount of silica pearls because they kind of just hide in the like the deeper areas. Um, and there you go. There's 109 right there. And you just keep swinging until you find some. So this is the third best location on the island to get a ridiculous number of silica pearls. And again, this happens to be if you have an anglerfish. If you don't have an anglerfish, you can also just swim this section. But because the silica pearls don't glow, they are very difficult to find. So just running around with an anglerfish like I am right now is probably one of the best things that you can do. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and sell that to you anymore. You see you see the point, right? 
I, I haven't spent much time at all. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, let's say you don't want to do it this way, right? You want to pick them up from beaver dams. The next best thing you can do is go to the beaver dam spawns. And the beaver dam spawns, um, I'll just go ahead and show you where a bunch tend to spawn. If you don't go to the swamp beaver dam spawns, pretty much at the inlets, you see it at the bottom of the map right now, at the inlets of every single river down there, you're going to have beaver dam spawns. And those beaver dams are really, really useful because obviously beaver dams can get you like, I don't know, 50, 60 uh, silica pearls per. And that's a pretty big uh, change, right? Because you want to be able to access those uh, silica pearls pretty easily. Now, um, those are all great and all, but you want the congregation. You want a large amount of silica pearls. And yeah, that's that's probably one of the best ways to do it is to go through the beaver dams, especially early game when everyone's hunting pretty much everything, right? Um, but there is a small section that you can sometimes find them in this area down here, um, especially if you're looking carefully. But I, I don't bother because uh, I can never see him with all the stuff that's here. Um, that's my personal opinion, right? So I can never find them. Uh, but sometimes you'll find them around here. That wasn't when it looked just like a rock, but it's it's not a rock. Outside of that, the best thing that you can do is uh, go in the deeper oceans and just literally go to the deepest part of the ocean and just start biting. The highest congregation of silica pearls in the water, by the way, if you're going to be using an anglerfish, is right to the northern side of this little, like, uh, how do I describe this? This little river looking thing that kind of pops out right here. If you go just outside of this, there are quite a few silica pearls. And sometimes you can even get lucky and find some inside of this area. I think that's one right there, right? Yeah, that's one right there. Um, so you can get some right at the little entrance right here. And that's definitely a silica pearl. It's just not letting me pick it up. Uh, I don't know why I can't pick this one up in particular, but you can get some. You see that little brown rock right there up this little mini river on these coordinates right here. I used to have a base location here. And then if you basically go straight along the edge of this, you'll find quite a few because there's like a deep point in the water out here. And there are quite a few in this direction as well. So this is the best way to get silica pearls on the island. And hopefully all those spots give you a little bit of help because it's something that, uh, I don't know, it's something I've used in the past. They moved a lot of them around in Ark Survival Ascended, and that's kind of what it is. Hopefully this video helps you out. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for your algorithm, and consider subbing to the channel. I'm starting to approach 100K, and that's been my goal all along. All right, hopefully this helps you. Teach out.